I mean, those pants with that shirt? Yeah, what? Is this important? I'm really busy right now. Let me save you some time. If you're here for a job, we're not hiring. If you're here about the conduction grid tour, we shut it down a year ago. Well, like I said, it shut down. Had to cut the entire tour staff, too. Look, I'm sorry if I'm blowing up at you. But I've got a ton of problems and no time to deal with them all. I'm afraid that things aren't going terribly well around here. I don't care if I'm allowed to or not. I'm happy to get this off my chest. The conduction grid went online almost 75 years ago. And since then, we haven't developed a single groundbreaking innovation. At this point, the money we're taking in as a power utility barely covers the waste that's going on in the Research and Development Division. <laughs> You'd think that, right? The problem is that Brayson Bayou, Administrator Bayou's brother, is currently heading up the R&D Division. I swear to you, the man doesn't know the first thing about power systems or electromagnetic technology. Of course there are. But so far, Brayson has suppressed most of their work through pure jealousy. Look, I'm running out of options. No one above me seems to care what's going on, but I'm willing to take a chance. I have a full report on Brayson that I want to send to Administrator Bayou, but I don't know if he can be trusted. What do you think I should do? It describes my aggravation with how badly Brayson Bayou is running the Research and Development Division. I'm also including a list of all the failed experiments he's greenlit, and how much they've cost Genodyne as proof of his incompetence. I'm praying someone as financially successful as Administrator Bayou might be able to put aside his ego and look at this from a business perspective. You know what? You're absolutely right. I can't allow Brayson to run this company into the ground. Hey, look. Uh, thanks for helping me out with this. It's been on my mind for a long time. If there's anything else you need, any questions at all, feel free to ask.
As long as it doesn't get me into serious trouble, ask away. Whoa. Okay, that's crossing the line. I can't discuss company matters like this. Huh. That makes a lot of sense, now that I think about it. Oh, is this really what we're doing? Okay, listen. You didn't hear this from me, but I know she's up to something with Benjamin Bayou. He was in her office a few weeks ago, and they had some kind of shouting match. It got really heated until Bayou stormed out the door. I don't know what it was about, but I happen to know Miss Komiko keeps audio recordings of all her meetings in her safe. And before you ask, yes, I'll unlock it for you. Just don't tell anyone I helped, okay? I've only been working here for a few years now. And she's been my boss the entire time. Well, the big boss is our CEO, Mr. Harada. But I've actually never met him. He lives somewhere in New Atlantis, I think. Because I'm sick and tired of the corruption that's running through this city. People around here spend half their lives terrified about being backstabbed and spend the rest of it planning on how they're going to screw over someone else. Something rotten is going on in this company, and one day, I hope to find out what it is. Sure, sure, no problem. The span above the city is outfitted with a specially developed electromagnetic absorption system. When a lightning discharge hits the span, the energy is instantly distributed across the grid to prevent overload. The energy is then transferred through a series of polyphasic capacitors and rectifiers to ensure all of the negative and positive strikes are equalized. At this point, the energy is clean, and it gets stored in massive storage cells in Neon's underbelly, from which it's parceled out and used for power. Genodyne was founded in 2232 by the original designer of the conduction grid, Felicia Corbin. Working from her facility in Neon, it took her almost 25 years to get the conduction grid up and running. That was Genodyne's first and last major success. That's an excellent question, and the answer for it is surprisingly simple. The conduction grid is only effective in lightning-rich environments. That's why Volai was chosen as its primary development site. Genodyne has always hoped to adapt the grid's absorption technology for other applications, but nothing public has ever been announced. Thanks for taking the time to talk. Can't talk. I've got a deadline coming up. Are you supposed to be here? The way along. things are looking at Genodyne? Might be time to polish up my resume.
come in here? Let's me forget everything else for a bit. Ready to relax? You people should leave her alone. What do you want with her? Yeah, sure. Tell me another one. You debt collectors are low-life assholes. She's broke, okay? Now get out of my club before I get really pissed off and have you thrown into the street. The... the Crimson Fleet? Oh my, I I'm sorry. I had no idea. I didn't mean anything by it, really. Sorry, I just... Well, I worry about her. Ayumi owes a lot of money around town. I'm trying to help her out. But, you know, I have a business to keep afloat. If you want to talk to her, you can find her in the members' lounge. You already have access, so you should know the way. Enjoy your drinks. You good? Yeah. What do you want? <sighs> Before you continue, let me save you some time. If you're having a problem with your power or complain about your rates, you need to contact our customer service department. Anything else? Uh, you must be zoned out of your mind, because there's no way anyone sober would say something like that. The Crimson Fleet, huh? This is interesting. So tell me, what does Delgado need with my Pastor Genodyne? So, let me get this straight. You want me to sneak you into Genodyne so you can steal the only profitable piece of technology the company's come up with in decades. If you expect me to take a risk like that, then it's going to cost you some major credits. Do you have any idea what Benjamin Bayou would do to me if he found out we were even having this conversation? If I'm going to let you into Genodyne, I need a backup plan. Namely, money to get off world fast. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, you do. Short of taking it off my dead body, which would never happen thanks to my Sioga buddies here. You don't pay, you don't get the pass. How the hell did you find that? It was Estelle Vincent, wasn't it? That bitch. I knew I should have kept that somewhere else. Here, take this pass. It should get you through the storage room entry to the facility. I'm warning you though, once you're inside, you're trespassing in a high security zone. That means they shoot on sight. Good luck. You're going to need it. If you had to work with Brayson Bayou, you'd understand. The man is still a totally incompetent fool, and he's running our company into the ground. The worst part of it is that he's Administrator Bayou's brother, so I can't fire him. I can't reassign him. I can't even yell at him. It's like having a cut on your body and you're helplessly watching yourself bleed to death. Except in our case, we're hemorrhaging money. I suppose if I don't explain, a copy of that recording you found might end up on the next SSNN report. Okay, fair enough. A few years back, 
The previous CEO of Genradyne went missing. As the COO, I was next in line for the job. Instead, Bayou muscled his way into the company and gave me an ultimatum. Either back up his bullshit Mr. Harada identity, or I'm gone. I had no choice. But I decided right then and there, I was going to do whatever I could to take what was rightfully mine. If that meant seducing Bayou to tip him off balance, then so be it. Luckily for me, Micah's been incredibly understanding about the whole thing. What do you think happened? Bayou started sticking his nose into Jennerdine's business, all but outright demanding a cut of the profits. In response, the CEO made a huge mistake by threatening to take his grievances to the FC. His shuttle never arrived. Need I say more? Micah is the only person in this godforsaken city that's kept me from going completely under. She doesn't want money, doesn't use me for influence or as a stepping stone to get ahead. She loves me for being me, and I love her for being the same. And when this stupid bullshit is over, and Bayou is ten fathoms deep under Neon, we'll be there for each other. Forever. If you get caught in Jennerdyne, that's on you. Good luck. Nothing beats getting zoned in the members' lounge. be doing this than getting mixed up with my gangs. can keep from killing each other.
Please, don't shoot. If you want the encryption cipher, you're, you're welcome to it. There's no need for all this violence. <laughs> uh, when you access the computer and the power core, it sends a notification to me here. I knew you were coming, I, I just didn't know when. No, no catch. I, I'm not trying to trick you. You want the cipher? It, it's yours. At this point, I'd do anything to get back at my brother. He deserves everything he's got coming to him. Oh, don't, don't patronize me. I know I'm no prize winner myself, but at least I don't spend my days trying to screw everyone over. You know, I've spent my entire life living in Ben's shadow. Everything always works out for him. While, while I've been bouncing from one job to the next, barely keeping afloat. And all the while, he laughs at me behind my back. <laughs> Thinks it's hilarious to make fun of his, his stupid brother. Like I wouldn't eventually find out. Murder my own brother. Are you crazy? Just because I hate how he treats me, it doesn't mean I want him dead. I just... I want him to suffer. Like I have. You know what? I am sick to death of being pushed around. It's my turn to take control for once. The passcode for my terminal is GEM-41A18. That should give you access to the cipher and whatever else you need. I'm getting out of here while I still can. After you're done, I suggest you do the same. As usual, you can thank my dear brother for that. At first, he made me deputy administrator. That went well, until I wouldn't cooperate with Owen Dexler and all of his thugs at Neon Security. Then, he had me work with Valentina over at Xenofresh, helping with Aurora distribution. Until she pinned the credit skipping scam on me. And now, here I am, chief technician at Jennerdyne. And I don't even know the first thing about electrical engineering. On a scale of one to ten, one being the worst, I'm at about, I don't know, a negative eight. I don't have the background for this electrical engineering stuff. Chief technician? It's, it's ridiculous. Ben stuck me down here, expecting me to work miracles. He didn't stop for even a second to think of the repercussions. That's so typical. All I need is one breakthrough. One! And I could shove this job right in his face. Damn, that would feel good. Holy crap. You might be right. I mean, it would take some time, but, but I bet I could figure it out. Huh. All this time I've been trying to develop something new and it's been staring me in the face for years. Oh man, that is so like me. Thank you for giving me that kick in the ass I needed to get going. Feels good to be in control for a change.
Ah, there you are. What kept you? I believe we have a lot to discuss. It's obvious you're here to meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. I assume that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Genodyne systems. Well, yes. You didn't think your little foray into Genodyne would go completely undetected, did you? All too well. You know, I should give credit where it's due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. That's the last time I'll ever take the Crimson Fleet's capabilities for granted. Probably. But do you want to know why that's not going to happen? It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. They don't understand commitments or contracts. How to get the deal done with finesse. No. For your kind, it's only brute force and violence. Shoot first, take whatever you want, and ask questions later. That's not how I do business. It may seem that way, but for every rival I've had thrown into the ocean, I've made two times as many legitimate deals. Look, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to make an offer. All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. You don't have to worry about that in the least. You point me to our little mole, and I'll do the rest. You don't even have to get your hands dirty. My dear friend, you couldn't possibly offer me enough money to offset the embarrassment that this has caused. I'm afraid you'll just have to reveal your source. Really? That's the story you're going with? Very well. There's a body that Neon Security is going to be discovering very soon. One with concrete evidence that links you to the murder. I'd say you have about one hour to leave this place before you have a price on your head. So, I assume this concludes our little arrangement, and you'll be leaving our fair city. Oh, when you get back to the key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my warmest regard.